This is the Rapid Man 1212 desktop calculator from Rapid Data. Now, Rapid Data were a Canadian manufacturer of accounting devices, uh, desktop calculators like the Rapid Man 1212 here, or uh, handheld calculators. Um, this is probably one of their last LED calculators. Um, this was made somewhere around 1972, 1973. So it's getting on for 50 years old now, at the time of this video in 2020. And it's had a bit of a, it's put in a few miles. So it's got a bit of a crack there and the identification plate there is slipping down a bit. And of course it could do with a bit more of a, well, a bit of a clean, probably hasn't had one in 50 years. It's got a lovely LED display, which I'll attempt to show you here, which hopefully you can see there on the, uh, on the video. It's coming out nicely. It's a sort of orangey colour, um, absolutely classic LED of the time for those of us of a certain age who remember the, the transition, if you will, from LED to LCD. And this was one of their, I think, Rapid Data's last calculators having done a bit of research as they moved then into LCDs um, so last LED calculators um, now it is purely basically an adding machine um, it can multiply and divide and subtract but essentially it's an adding machine as uh, uh, evidenced by the fact that the plus and equals are the same function so 10 plus 15 is 25, but you could just put in five and get 30. So it, it's essentially an adding machine, but it obviously has the other mathematical functions built in. Now this particular model has, as we say, seen better days. And I think the electronics are going a bit squiffy, but it does addition, as you see, and it can do multiplication. And it has a lovely way that the the numbers sort of are drawn right from right from right to left, and sometimes in the middle. Um, but it can do quite large numbers. Now, I mentioned that this has got some foibles, but let's be honest, it's a fifty-year-old desktop calculator. Nobody's ever using this to do their accounts ever again. Nobody's ever using this kind of device to, to do their accounts ever again. But the foibles are uh, mostly around two functions, subtraction and the usage of decimals. Well, decimals entirely. So if I want to do pound fifty, or for people... <laughs> Elsewhere, one euro fifty or one dollar fifty, I'm a bit stuffed because no matter what I do, and it clearly is intended to be able to do it, I can't put those digits in. Um, if you're wondering, if I do times two, it does not come up with three as one point five times two would do. It comes up with two. So there's a foible there. Uh, similarly, three divided by two gives me one, there's no fraction being shown. Um, 10 divided by three is a nice happy three. Handy for those people in America a couple of, a couple of hundred years ago who wanted to set the value of pi to three. None of that pesky fract fractional nonsense for them. But this calculator is probably only for them. Also, um, subtraction is a bit weird. Uh, 15, whoa, take 5, is that 10 or is that minus 10? Well, I know the answer to this, and the answer is that if I add 20 to that, then if it was 10, the answer would be 30. If the answer, oh, it's a bad example, but it should be 30, but it will be 10. So it really was minus 10. A uh, bad example to use 10 there, so if we do 45 minus 20, gets us 25 or minus 25. 
if I now add uh, 30 to that, it should come up with 55, but it will come up with 5, implying that the number is negative. It's a bit weird. So if you wanted to do, as I said, 12 take 8, you get minus 4, as we've established. Therefore, if you do 8 minus 12, <laughs> you get 4, which is actually the right answer if you logically say that I have now created minus 8 and I'm adding 12 to it. Um, so something is a bit squiffy on the wiring, but as I said, if your accountant really did reach for a desktop calculator to do your accounts, then uh, he's probably not worth the several hundred pounds, euros, dollars, tens of thousands of yen that you're paying him for. Um, but that's it. Uh, aside from that, it's a lovely piece of 50-year-old uh, electronics. The LED, as I've said, is marvellous. The keypad is wonderful. Um, it absolutely sounds and feels brilliant. If in the 70s your accountant was using one of those, and it did do fractions, etc., then you and he would think it is a marvellous, marvellous uh, relationship. So it's got a memory function, probably should mention. So 45, I can do memory plus, and then if I did 15 memory plus, uh, equal nothing, but if I recall memory, 45 plus 15 is 60, which is marvellous. And if I do 12, memory minus, then I should get 48, and I do. So the memory function works. Um, it's purely, uh, it's purely uh, almost a museum piece, I would say now. I know it's had damage, um, but it is a marvellous thing. Uh, it's just not a great desktop calculator. Um, anyway, that was the Rapid Data Rapid Man uh, 1212. It's probably worth showing a couple of minor things. It's got a lovely rocker switch there for on and off. And as I meant, may have mentioned, but I'm now, it's got a standard IEC connector, which I think must have been fairly, fairly getting with the standards in, in the early 70s, or a kettle lead, I suppose you'd call it. And... There is the provenance, as you've probably already guessed, this is set up for the United Kingdom, but Rapid Data, where a Canadian company, uh, uses what appears to be 0.25 amps, um, which is, well, both quite a lot and understandable, given that it's, it's powering those LEDs, and it is quite a, a chunky half a kilogram, yeah, probably about half a kilogram in weight, uh, 500 grams um, but obviously these would have been sold in Canada and presumably the rest of North America as well so there you go the rather wonderful uh, Rapid Man 1212 from Rapid Data